Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, I will not be in for the first uh, Monday, Wednesday, and then that next Monday. I won't be in until the second Wednesday. So you have a sub. So your responsibility is to watch these videos so that you can uh, work on your, your homework in class. Uh, so we're going to start today with Lesson 56. If you're following along at home, third edition, Algebra 1 half, uh, Saxon Algebra 1 half. I'm going to launch right into it. Today we're talking about equations, which uh, equations with mixed numbers, which I'm really excited about. So we have example number one here. And guys, you'll notice I'm taking notes on lined paper. Your notes need to look just like this. If you need to watch, watch this video and just watch me doing it first, that's great. And then go back and maybe watch it again, this time taking notes. So we have 2 and 1 third m equals 5. Uh, the operation that's going on between 2 and 1 third and m is multiplication, right? The opposite of multiply is divide, but we never divide. If I divide this by 2 and 1 third, I would have to divide this, but we don't divide by fractions. First things first, before we even get into that, we've got to turn this into an improper fraction. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 over 3 times m equals, and I'm going to make this into a fraction since I'm dealing with fractions, 5 over 1. Now, in, uh, as I was saying, we don't divide this by, well, you can. I can show you two different ways to do this. Divide that by 7 thirds, divide this by 7 thirds. Now what we have is this cancels out, this cancels out, and we have m equals 5 over 1 divided by 7 over 3, because this is our big divided by line, right? Divided by 7 over 3. But we never divide fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. m equals 5 over 1. Change this to uh, multiplication, and then we flip this to get our reciprocal, which would be 3 over 7. m equals 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 7 is 7. So we're going to leave it just like that. You can either leave it like that, or you can say... Uh, Seven, uh, a better way of doing this would be like 15. Um, let's do some side work here. Come back over here really quick. So we do, my mouse is in the way. 15 divided by seven, this is my side work. Seven goes into 15 two times. Two times seven is 14 with a remainder of one. So two and one seventh, or two and one seventh. Now, um, actually I did that side work, but now I'm gonna erase it to show you another way of doing this. Uh, way back up here. So we didn't have to divide. This is this is a lot of steps, right? And I'm lazy. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do things. What we could have done is say, so let's rewrite this. M equals 5 over 1. And so we don't divide fractions. We could multiply by the reciprocal straight away up here uh, and then multiply this. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And the reason why we do it this way is because this cancels out this, this cancels out that. And I get M all by itself, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. 5 times 3 is 15 over 7, or 2 and 1 seventh, 2 and 1 seventh. I think this is an easier method, but I want you to see that it's the same thing either way. Um, example number 2. We have 3 and 1 half K equals 4 and 1 fifth. 3 and 1 half K equals 4 and 1 fifth. Again, let's turn this into an improper fraction. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 two halves k equals 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21 over 5. Uh, multiply by the reciprocal. Oh, uh, sorry, I just jumped right into it. We're multiplying 7 halves by k, and the opposite of multiply is divide, but we never divide fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. This cancels out this, this cancels out that, and I get k all by itself. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other, 2 over 7. Multiply it by 2 over 7 here, multiply it by 2 over 7 here. Multiply straight across the top, I get 42, because 21 times 2, 5 times 7 is 35, or 35 goes into 42 one time with a remainder of 35 times 1 is 35, uh, and so 5 more would be set, uh, 40 and plus 2, so 5 and, five and 2 is 7, so if that makes sense. Now, uh, knowing that, we can reduce this guy, right? 7 over 35, we could have reduced it way back up here too. Uh, so we're going to reduce this guy because if we divide this by 7 and we divide this by 7, I end up with 1 and 1 fifth, 1 and 1 fifth. We could have done the same up here and gotten the same thing, but uh, divide both top and bo bottom by 7 and we would end up with 6 fifths. Either way, so this would be your answer or 6 over 5, either way. Uh, okay, example number three. Example number three, let's see. 
Oh, ha, no example number three, guys. We're launching right into the practice problems. So uh, I'm on page 181 here. Let me go ahead and pause and I'll come back to this. Okay, guys, so these are the practice problems for uh, that are on lesson 50. Six uh, at the bottom of page 181. Guys, the practice problems must be at the top of your homework. So make sure that you're either starting your homework now, just start the you know start the paper, and then uh, you can work on it in class, uh, or copy it down in your notes, and then you can do it in class. Whatever. I just want to make sure that they're at the top of your homework. Uh, okay, first things first. Let's convert all these into improper fractions. We can do that straight across the board for all these guys. This times this is eight plus one is nine, so I get nine over four p equals, this times this is 16, plus one more is 17 over two. Over here, five times that is 20, plus one is 21 over five x equals, this times this is six, plus one more is seven halves. Okay, now we're ready to solve our problems. Uh, nine fourths times p, uh, the opposite of times is divide, but we don't divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. Uh, what we do to one side, we must do to the other. Divide this by two, I get one. Divide this by two, I get two. So we can cross cancel straight off the bat. Uh, these guys canceled out and I get P all by itself. 17 times two is gonna give me 34 over one times nine gives me nine. Or let's do some side work here. 34 and nine goes into 34. Uh, just, just sit there. Uh, three times, which is 27. That's three plus four, so that gives me seven with a remainder of seven, so, or three and seven ninths. That's our answer there. Now over here, we, 21 fifths times X equals seven halves. We don't, uh, the opposite of multiply is divide, but we don't divide fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply by five, 21, five over 21. Uh, these guys cancel out and I get X all by itself. Now over here, I can divide this by seven and I get one. Divide this by seven and I get three. So one times five gives me five over two times three gives me six. And that's not an improper fraction, so we are good and we can't reduce that any further. Um, okay guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, great work.